This is the Happy Model Mobula 7. I have been flying this quad on a daily basis for about a good six months and it really just blew my mind as of how good it is and it just became my daily driver. Okay, so let's look at some facts and some flight footage about this little quad so you can decide if this is a fit for you. Let's get a quick rundown on specs. The flight controller is a Happy Model X12 5-in-1 AIO flight controller. This tiny board will include an F4 flight controller, a 12 m 41 ESC, which is capable to handle one s 2 s It has an onboard analog VTX that has in power up to 400 milliwatts. It also has a SPI based ELRS receiver, which you can see the ceramic antenna right here. The biggest difference compared to other AIO board is that this particular board includes a built-in VTX which other manufacturers usually do not have, like this particular board is truly a owing one This reduces the complexity if you ever need to fix anything, so no solder is going to be required, but the downside is if something happens to the board, like if you burn one of the ESC or probably damage one of the ports you will have to replace the whole board as it will be very hard to fix the board. Next, the camera is the Runcam Nano 3, which is a plug and play if you ever need replacement. So you basically plug this camera directly onto the, uh, the AIO flight controller. The motors are the Happy Model brand RS0802 2000, a 20,000 kV motor. And the props are the Genfan 40 mm bi-blade props. I would say this combination is very balanced between performance and flight times. The battery tray is good for any PH 2.01S battery that has a width and height at about 6 mm times uh, 70 mm. So 6 times 70 mm. So generally this will include all the GMB families. The batteries I like to use are the GMB 380 or the 350 or you can even go with the biggest one at the 520 or 660. But I would suggest to you this too for better freestyle performance as the 520 is a bit heavy and you can certainly feel the drag when you are recovering from maneuvers. But for longer cruising, this one is good enough. By the way, make sure to plug in your LiPo like this so it prevents the battery from falling off air. So this is correct. Plug it like this and this will result the battery generally result the battery to fall out. Okay, let's go and fly this outdoor. At outdoors, the Mobula 7 is definitely flyable, although the lightweight does give it some disadvantage when there are stronger winds. But overall, you can see that the performance being very smooth and you won't feel like needed to raise a lot of throttle to keep up your speed. Still, it is not going to give you a muscle car like punch, but more like a well-balanced smooth sport sedan. The MyBlades does give you optimized battery power and it is the most efficient types of blades. So longer flight time and you do get better response when you are turning. So yawing. But the downside for the MyBlades are they don't generate as much thrust as tri-blades if you're missing one blade. So you might feel less punchy when you are freestyling. I'm also thinking about updating the props to tri-blades to see how it performs later on. If I do so, I will share with you guys my thoughts about it. As for the durability, I would say this quad is so far the most durable whoop I own in my fleet. I also own other whoops from other manufacturers, which every single one will give me some kind of hard to fix problem at a certain point with a minimum impact. Mostly their VTX and camera is the first thing that goes. But for the Mobula 7, I crashed it on pavement, smashed it into trees, landed it on super wet grass, and even drop it into the bucket of water, and it just still flies. The most I have to do is to replace a new frame and new antenna, and it's ready to go again. Nothing major. And even if you need parts for replacement, mostly the camera, you can get this very easy on a major FPV stores or even at Amazon if you want them quick. They are parts that is generally wide available. They are not tied to the certain manufacturer. Okay, so let's switch to the indoor flights. At indoors, the well-balanced nature does give it a plus. You can certainly fly the Mobula 7 very smooth, very slow, and very steady, as it is very easy to control. This is mainly because it has a decent stock pit tuning. Speaking truly, the pit tune is so far the best I have ever experienced for a Bind and Fly 1S Whoop. 
This is almost 90% perfect tune out of the box and there is not much you need to do to have a login on the rail experience. I would say this is already professionally tuned by a happy model pilot. To me, a good pit tuning is especially important for confined space flying as it does make the quad more controllable. The more obvious example of better pit tune or better control is normally when you're turning, yawing, you will need to yaw and roll and add some throttle to compensate the prop wash of the quad will start loose altitude. But the Mobula 7 has been tuned to a point that the prop wash feels very minimal and you don't have to compensate so much of the throttle. With this much easier for throttle management and hitting gaps. So okay, let's head back to the bench and we can talk about my final thoughts. All right, we're back. And my conclusion for the Mobula 7 is this is a well-balanced group. It has good flight performance, good enough durability, and good default tuning. It is very understandable why so many people love the Mobula 7. And the general feedback I hear from people after they flew my is they just liked it. So it definitely deserves the name King of Whoops. And I really think this may be the best beginner intermediate quad for you. Although the downside for beginner might be it generally does not come in as a beginner kit with the goggles and radio included in one big package like other manufacturers. But if you can overcome the initial learning curve of choosing gears and you want something that is well balanced and will give you a lot of trouble with fixing, then certainly I would recommend the Mobula 7. And I truly believe you are going to like this one. And this is my opinion only. And whether you agree or don't agree with me, why not just let me know in the comment section? And I will see you next time. Bye.